Hello, friends. Welcome back. It is your host you love the most, the Pittsburgh Pichus. If you guys are enjoying, make sure to slap a like, subscribe. I'm trying to get something right now that I had stuck on me. And it kind of actually hurt it. But if you guys are enjoying, slap a like, subscribe. We're here today, Battle. We're going to have favorite people. Drew, go check out his channel. Links in the description. I'd love to see his side about this. His team is really threatening. We are 4 0 right now. Flawless victory. Will we go 5 0? I don't know. Yeah. But. His team is really fucking threatening, guys. Really threatening! Like, I'm talking about really threatening. He's got Mega Aggron, Hydreigon, Tapu Fini, Needle King. Do I, shall I go on? He's got both Ultra, uh, Zerka Tree and Buzzwall, and he brought both! He literally brought everything that I expected! I actually expected everything of this to come. Everything. The only thing I maybe didn't expect is the Zerka Tree. I kind of expected something else. I expected Cresselia over Zerka Tree. Fuck! Let's see. A Dragon Neo King as well. Okay. Ah, uh, this is gonna fucking suck. I don't even know who to lead off with. Is my issue. I think I'm going to lead off with Mega Toys. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just don't know who... I, I feel like I'm going to lead off with Mega Toys on the off chance he leads off with either Hydreigon or Mega Aggron. His team is really threatening. Uh, switching into Needle King is probably me and my biggest annoyance right now. Uh, I brought a little custom Reuniclus set that I brought and an AV... Um, whatchamacallit? And an AV uh, Drapion. Because Nidokin's going to be a problem. Um, his team's hard to punch through. Buzzwalls are naturally bulky. Um, same with Hydreigon. Mega Aggron and Tumble Finny are very bulky. And the rest are kind of frail. So, I mean... <sighs> we'll just have to see. Here we go with this. His team is so scary, guys. If we win this, I swear. I have to play perfect. And he's got one of those teams where if I fuck up, I could be in a predicament. Hey. Hey. A Falco? Okay, so he did lead off with the Hydreigon. I don't think he's gonna drag Draco Media turn one. I don't think that he's gonna Draco Media turn one. I think he's gonna 100% U turn. Am I playing with Fire right now? Clicking Aura Sphere? Maybe. I think he's going to, like I said again, 100% U turn. Just in case, let me see this. Uh, what does it do again? It creates the effect of the movie three in the battlefield. There's no effect set of battle. It ignores the abilities introduced. I think if I'm not mistaken, Tapu Fini's ability non damaging fairy type move. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna just. I feel like I just want to turn one toxic. As he does stay in. I think he's gonna U turn here. My gut's telling me he's gonna U turn. If he stays in here and clicks like Draco Meteor, we'll just have to see. But for now, I think he's gonna U turn. He does a U-turn, yep. Nice. I don't think status works. I haven't played Sun and Moon Meta in a long time. So it, 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 I, I probably should, I did look it up though. I should have written it down. I have terrible memory, guys. So I looked it up. I did. I just Vanta? Oh no, bitch. You would have thunk that I caught you. I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, okay, it doesn't. It would have been raw as fuck if I would have gotten it, though. This is unfortunate. What to do against this thing? I actually don't know. Uh, I kind of want to drapey on, if anything. 
Maybe we should have turned on Skull just for damage. Yeah, I think I should definitely should have turned on Skull for damage. Let's look this up. Um. So basically, does 28 Minty with a Surf or a Moonblast. I think that's my bet right now, is just to do that. I don't want to think getting up a free Calm Mind. Nature's Madness? Ooh, good play. Regardless how I've stayed in on the Blastoise, that's what he wanted to do. It brings it down to about half, doesn't it? That's somewhere around there, yeah. Okay. He does not want to stay in here. question is is what exactly does he want to do is he want to a go to agron right now or b go to hydreigon i'm gonna knock off regardless i don't think he's staying in he has no balls to stay in he's not staying in yeah i don't think he's staying in at all i 100 percent don't think he is because if he does he can get shafted We'll just have to see and find out. Right now, it's uh, it's it's a couple options. But I don't think he wants to go Agron here. My gut's kind of telling me Buzzwall, honestly. Since he's a bug type and he resists a uh, earthquake, and you can even see my gut is telling me Buzzwall. But knocking off any AV or ban on the Buzzwall could be very helpful. So we'll just have to see what he does. I know I'm going with a. A trick here. Click a knockoff, but yeah, I knew he'd swap out. 100%. Is it Buzzwall or Ain't Falco? He brought back in the Hydra. Yay! Was he holding Choice Scarf? Choice Scarf, okay. Maybe this is the time where he actually clicks Dragon uh, Draco Meteor. Just to maybe kill me off. Who knows? Um, I don't want to summon a Blastoise to take unnecessary damage. As of right now, I kind of would just want to go play it safe here. See what he wants to do. I'm going to go out into my Florgus. I was able to knock off the Scarf off the Hydreigon. I figured that it was Scarfed. So now that Scarf is actually off the Hydreigon, Garchomp basically outspeeds everybody on his team. So if I actually do get off one Swords Dance, I think that's game. I'd have to chip down the Mega Aggron, though. We're going to see if he U-turns or not. He clicked U-turn. Okay. That was smart. That was the play. And it's Gutra on my Drapion. That was the play. And now he gets... He should get now a Fruit Switch either to Needle King or Mega Aggron, which... That is just a pain. Klungo... He chose Aggron instead. 100% hard topping, not even thinking. I was put into that situation where I had to do that. Or Earth Power, anything if you wanted to go for the offensive present, just get a kill off right away. Seeing his play style, he's playing it safe as well. So I think I should be okay to play a little aggro. We'll just have to see. His team is really... Like, he's got... If anything, he has, like, the perfect mons to stop my team. You know what I mean? It's doable, but he has such perfect checks. That's why I didn't see him bring Tauros to Snorlax this week, because Mega Aggron is just too fat. If I burn it, I'm fine. If I burn it, if I get a Skull Burn off on it, I'm fine. I think he wants to just put up rocks ASAP. Because he does have a Defogger. Tell him if he learns Defog. So it's the fact that he wants such a good core, such a, dra such a good Dragon Fairy Steel core. Such a good Dragon Fairy Steel Core. Mega Aggron, Hydreigon on the top of it. Such a good Dragon Fairy Steel Core. Props to man for that draft. I have a Dragon Fairy Steel Core too of Chomp, Drachi, and Florgus, but his is like so much more versatile. Mine is a little more offensive, which can be also ran defensive. His is definitely more defensive than can be ran offensive. So, 
It's like polar opposites here. We'll just have to see what he wants to do. It all depends exactly what he wants to do. Like, I, I'm telling you, I think he actually wants to try and get up the rocks. I think that's what he wants to do. He has no reason not to do that. If he clicks Iron Head, that's even better for me. He actually doesn't even make Evolve. He just... Okay. I wonder why. I'm clicking Scald here regardless this time. Burn is burn at the end of the day. Interesting why he didn't actually Mega Evolve. Maybe he forgot to click it. Or maybe he just didn't even bring a Mega Aggron this week. Which, that would be insane. That would be insane. I just know that you brought this Mega Aggron to stop my hard hitters. Which it does, by the way. Which it does. Yeah, he gets Ice Punch too. Which is something I did look up. Damage is damage. Is it going to be the Vanta? Yes, it is. It comes right back up. Okay. I think he's going to play it safe and go for Nature's Mattis again. I kind of knew that he'd do that. And I should have doubled out into my Drapion because he's also playing really safe. Uh, you can't play safe against somebody who's also playing safe. It's going to end up being a stalemate or they pressure you and put you into a situation where it's going to be harder for you to get out. Almost like a deadlock zone. So I can't be pressured into that situation. I should have doubled out into my Drapion there because 100% knew that he would not stay in and leave that grind in. Yet for some reason I still stayed in clicks called. I don't know why. And it rocks up as well, regardless of what he does. And Nietzsche's Madness. I think I lived this though, so I should be okay. Yep, I lived that. We're good. Here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to click. Because he doesn't want to leave this thing in. But then again, he may leave it in to overpredict me. I think I'm going to click Poison Jab regardless. Because he brings out both Wallace damage, Needle King does damage. And he obviously doesn't want to bring in this Needle King because I'll speed the Needle King. If I'm not mistaken, I'm 95. Needle King is 85, yeah. For some reason, I always think Needle King is like base 97. But I'm safe to do that. And then I can counteract whatever else comes out. You know what I mean? So I think that it is what I'm going to do that. I knocked off the Scarf off the Hydreigon. Uh, his best option is to bring in Hydreigon right now. It's Poison Dab still does 34 to 41. I'm going to click that regardless. Oh! That's big damage. Of course, he's max HP, max defense. That's really good information to know that he's max HP, max defense. But I did get big damage off on that thing. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out into Jolteon and pressure thing because unfortunately I actually didn't bring Rapid Spin this week. So I'm stuck here with the rocks. I'm going to go out to Jolteon here. Hmm. A part of me wants to stay in the click hidden paradise because I just did the calc for it. And this Jolteon can two shot that Nido King. He's not crazy enough to leave it in. Gotta play an aggro approach here. He's not. There it is. Ain't Falco? That's gonna hurt, bruh! That's gonna hurt, bruh! Sheesh! He just brought this bitch in to die. That's what he did, he just brought it in to die. I 
I think I should not actually click Volt Switch. I should kill it here. What answer does he have in... I should knock it out here with Thunderbolt is what I'm going to do. That's my play. I don't want to give him the initiative. So, uh, Dragon's dead. He was short-lived. I know I'm taking more damage than I need to. But I don't want it to give him the upper hand. If I were to swap it onto somebody then through Voltwitch, he then gets the initiative. I don't want that to happen. I think it was a lot safer for me to just knock that thing out. I only click Thunderbolt there too. I have to hit the camera at the Mega Argon. I think someone does more, but. He has a couple options here. Zerka Tree really only Spag Hat? He actually comes up to Zerka Tree. Hmm. Zerka Tree, huh? Now, the thing about Zerka Tree is he hits really hard. But his move pool is abysmal. Like, that shit is trash. So. I felt like he brought Tail Glow this week. I felt like he did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cl just click the save volt switch. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to see what this thing does. Should be about like 28%. Yeah, about there. Maybe it did a little less. Um, now let's see. I don't want him setting up a free tail glow. But I also don't want to come out to my guard or reunion clips, which are one mod a couple mods that I'm thinking of coming out into. I think that he actually brought Tail Glow, Thunderbolt, Power Whip, and Hidden Power Ice. I think that's what he brought. I think that's his set. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to go out to Florgus because it's safe. The Hydreigon's gone. But it still shits on Buzzwall. We're going to see what he did. Ooh! Is that Z-Hypnosis? Boosted its speed. And he missed! <laughs> Unfortunate. That's unfortunate. He lands a second one though. That's crazy. No way! He landed a move at 60 accuracy! He boosted his speed. He doesn't get baton pass. Doesn't know it doesn't. So Z hypnosis. The standard set for that is like what? What is the standard set for that? It's hypnosis, tail glow, thunderbolt, and grass knot. Okay. All I gotta do is wake up somehow. If he sets up a tail glow, it's fine. My guard chomp out speeds and shreds it. So I should be fine. I should be fine. I could probably could have gone up to Garchomp there, pressured it out, and still kept my Florgus okay. What he's trying to do is take down his Florgus. Which, to be honest, Florgus is kind of expendable right now. In part what? I still eat that. Oh my god! I think that's HP Ice. You got HP Ice instead of, um... What are the balls right now? I actually click Moonblast. Off chance that he goes for another Tail Glow. I'm not taking that risk. I'm actually not. He can't even kill me with Hidden Power. He goes for another hypnosis. Unforward, huh, buddy? I'm gonna go ahead and click Moonblast. No way he's gonna land another one. 
Dog, what? My brother! How are you landing these? It's 60 accuracy! This is insane. He's gonna take a look at isn't he? Yeah. I gotta write that down. Dude, this is actually nuts. That he's landed so many hypnosises. I think I live one. He's gonna thunder bolt here. No, I don't. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. There's nothing I could have done about that. I probably could have preserved and kept that thing around. But now... He's holding a Z crystal, so I think it's shri- What am I doing? Am I throwing the game? I'm almost positive I'm throwing the game. I think we lost, guys. I'm being dead serious. I think we lost. And you know why I'm saying this? He gets a speed boost. I don't know why they didn't click me that he gets a speed boost. It raises the speed stat by one stage. So let's just say hypothetically that he's got maximum speed. I can do the math here. I, I don't know why I just brought in fucking Garchomp. I actually don't know why I did. The entire time I was sitting there thinking, Oh, this is not a problem at all. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. T two two. Yeah, infinitely I was peas my chomp. I don't know what I'm doing. I actually don't know what I'm doing. Why am I throwing this game? I could have came out to Reuniclus and just been able to wall anything he did to me. Fuck it. Go big or go home. No way! He thought I was scarfed! Bruh! This nigga, this nigga should live this. I'm at a genuine loss! I, I'm genuinely at a loss, guys. I'm genuinely at a loss. I'm, I'm, I'm heart. I have no words to say. This thing learns ice punch too. So, Whew. I have to go to Mega Toys here. He won the game, dude. Can they get the plus one speed boost? He already used the Z crystal. Now he no longer has speed. Boost. He actually won the game. He leech life there, okay. I shouldn't do much, right? Oh my god. That did way more than I expected. But then again, I underestimated this mon. Doesn't he have like what? 150 attack? It's 139. I think this Blastoise is dead. He is kind of expendable though because of Finny walls them and everything else that speeds them and he still has a circuitry alive, so yeah. But yeah, he just kills me off. It's unfortunate because he gained back a majority of that HP. Oh, and he gets a beast boost now too. 
I live what he goes for, so I'm actually gonna go out into Reinquist right the fuck now. His Ultra Beast game is like actually dicking me, dog. I'm gonna click Psychic, 100%. I have no reason not to. Him actually not. I could have just stayed in and just murdered this thing. I could have stayed in with my guard chomp and murdered that thing alive. But it's the fact that I win with guard chomp that I have to be careful about that. Like, I actually just murder. Guard chomp, I. I don't know why I didn't stay in. I resist leech life, I'm not mistaken. No, I don't. I don't know why I stood up. For some reason, I keep getting mixed up. Rock types with this bug, not ground. Yeah, I could have stayed in. He could have gained back HP, but nothing that would have done more to damage them now. So I was, yeah, nothing that, now that I'm looking at the calcs now. Buzzwall's just too bulky. I lived this 100%. So you should be dead. They're just one shots. Bare minimum is if he lives. He better not fucking live. Nice, it's gone. Big throw out of the way. I also have recover as well. He could go at the Zerka Tree again. Which could be very fucking annoying. I, I just blinked, guys. I blinked. That's my fault. Alright? I'm taking responsibility for that. I blinked. For some reason, I was like, it boosted the speed. Okay. He was 222. My guard top was 169 from level 50. He guaranteed outsped everything. I think out of my Jolte outside of my Jolteon? No? Because I speed creeper Jolteon. He even outsped Jolteon. So he would have won the game 100%, but I think that he thought that I was Scarf Chomp, that he did not want to lose the circuitry. Mind fucking games. So really, it's not too bad. I've lost three mons. He's lost two. Demise. Oh, shit. Um, what's his strat? <laughs> Let's see, one fourteen. A minimum earth power does ninety seven. I'm dying to that regardless if he's timid life orb. Minimum Sludge Wave does 103. I'm dying to that regardless. He'd have to go for like Mega Horn and Miss or something like that. But regardless, I have to stay in here because that's what I, I need to stay in. This thing has got to go. He's going to actually go for Sludge Wave. Okay. Yeah, I'm 100% dead. There's actually no way I'm living that. Had I been at a little bit more HP, I would have lived that. But regardless, Garchomp just comes in and kills. He has no switch into my chomp. I, a part of me wants to set up a plus two here. But I don't want him to like stay in here and click Ice Beam or some shit. Expecting that, you know? I don't want him to do that. I actually don't want him to do that at all. So... This kills 100%. Who are three fifty one? Yeah, so he brings the Tabu Fini. That's dead. Uh, Zerka Tree's 100% dead. And if he brings in Agron, he's down to one. Yeah, so he has no switch in right now. I think the bluff scarf, which wasn't even my intended plan, 
ended up saving us this entire game. He's gonna withdraw. He's gonna send out Vanta. Yep, that should do a KO from that range. 100%. We're going to see how much it does. Yep, there it is. There it is. I think his plan is to sack this thing off and then get a free switch out into the aggron. Now, if that aggron doesn't have ice punch, we could be in a good situation. If it's not mega, we could be in a good situation. It all depends on if he has Ice Punch or not. That is 80 to 97. I actually have a chance of living that. So I'm going to click it. He's not Mega. Oh, and I'm dead! No way! I fucked up! I fucked up! I could have won this game if I sacked off the Jolteon! I don't even need Jolteon! All I needed to do was pop the Sturdy and I won the game. unfortunate we 100% lose now that's unfortunate if this thing had a little bit of damage that's unfortunate our first loss this week guys all because I didn't sack off this Jolteon I don't even need the Jolteon anymore really smart play Really smart play. I'm dead. That's game. GG Snips. That was a smart play. I kind of figured in the back of my mind that he'd bring a Mega Aggron with Avalanche since it just does double the damage back. But I lost the game only because I didn't swap out from Garchomp. Had I have swapped out from Garchomp, I would have won. I would have won. But that sucks. We couldn't make it five out of this week, guys. We, we played really good, too. We did. The bluff was insane. We played really good. Guys, um, that's going to be it. Shit. I wanted to bring you guys another W, but hey, we went 4-0 the entire week. That sucks that we did lose, and it was such a winnable game, too. Had I actually gone onto the Jolteon on the Avalanche, which, first off, let's just not even say, let's not, let's not even say shit right now. Let's just not. Let's just... Let's just look at avalanche damage. Um, avalanche damage, it would have done minimum 80 to me, so I had a better chance to live against that at maximum 95. And I think I was at like 94, 93-ish. So I had a higher roll to actually live. Had I gotten any bit of cheap damage off on that bitch, man, probably looking back at it, I should have put up rocks. I had rocks on my chunk. Probably looking back at it, if I would have popped the story to live in game. But that aggro on actually being sturdy ended up changing the game entirely i really feel like i should have just swapped onto the jolteon got chipped the my off on him and then go back onto the guard shop and just spam earthquake that's unfortunate that really is guys if you enjoyed have a like subscribe drew played great um i think swapping out from the circuitry i genuinely believe that was a bluff it was a bluff he thought that i was scarfed and i i guess we perfectly uncoincidentally bluffed the scarf and poof i feel like i need to just play the more sun and moon meta I told him beyond me that it boosted speed, but if you guys enjoyed, have a like, subscribe. Next week, we're going to play Godlike to get another W after this loss. I mean, I don't even mind the loss. It was such a good game that I don't even mind the loss. But if you guys enjoyed, have a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.